It's Tom Lehman is live from 3rd Street in Harrisburg with why that could happen. Well, Janelle and Brian, you're talking about a situation right now where there are thousands of EVs already on Pennsylvania roadways, just like the one right behind me charging up. And state regulators are worried about the idea of people charging up at a time when electric demand is very high. One full charge, I can go and come back. You know, they are in Philadelphia and New Jersey. Hammond Patel says he's already saving money by plugging in his Tesla and not filling up. Every dollar adds up. And gas is going high and high, you know, so, you know, this is better. But with more and more electric vehicles on the road and plugging in, state regulators are worried about straining a power grid that also powers our homes, appliances, and other things we use every day. You may not have capacity. Uh, you know, you have potential blackouts, brownouts, all that. Stephen DeFrank is vice chairman of Pennsylvania's Public Utility Commission. He says the agency is drafting a policy statement, a request to power companies that they come up with new rates for EV charging. We want to make sure folks are charging when it's most opportune for the grid. D. Frank says electric demand is highest during the day, but much lower overnight. He says more EV users will charge up when demand is low if they get a break on their bill. We want folks charging 10, 11 o'clock at night throughout the night. That's when all ratepayers will see the benefit of electric vehicles. D. Frank says it goes both ways. EV users could also pay more when they charge up at high demand times, but making no changes would be a bad idea. It is important to manage that load again, because if we don't manage it, it will be the Wild West. D. Frank did not outline a specific timeline, but he did say that what they're going to do is begin drafting the statement here from stakeholders and eventually come up with that policy statement and ask utility companies to offer those alternative rates. In Harrisburg, Tom Lehman, WGAL News 8.